Just sitting on a toilet. We're playing it's, no it's more Dev. heroes. It's Dev <laughs> sitting on the toilet. Yeah. Fuck you. All right. So welcome everyone to No More Heroes here in NTG. We're continuing uh, with we can, Dave's uh, what is it, 51, 51 yeah. game review and and playthrough. Now this game gave me carpal tunnel syndrome. <laughs> I think this is like I think this is Cameron Lady's old file. This is already like in. I think I have to go to exit. Um, not just leaves the house. I don't know how to play this game. <laughs> uh, yeah, no shit. Okay, we'll, we'll find we'll find the, the we'll 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 go, we'll come back when the when the new game's actually started. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, cause she's like complete. She's holy shit. Okay, so hold on, guys. <laughs> okay, finally new game. We found it. Yeah. I'm just gonna take the next fucking fifty years to load. That's the beauty of Super 51 games. There's so much loading. <laughs> oh yeah. Doesn't this game? It's nine years old, eh? Yeah. Doesn't feel like it. Oh, Kay. it's definitely. This was like one of the good games in the Wii. Like, oh really hell good. yeah. Okay, Sweet, not mild. What you can't go to like super hard? I don't think so. Wait, we want to play it on sweet or mild? Ah, fuck, I don't know. Are you beginners? Many strong men await you. We should probably play it on mild because we've already played through it before. Yeah, but this is like normal difficulty. That's easy and that's normal. Oh, I know. I, I understand that. No, man. Like you know, well, you're playing this one, so like, because you didn't really beat the game completely. I did. I thought I did. You watched me beat a little bit of it. Oh right, we had but, to switch off. Yeah, but like, no, go to sweet again. Go to sweet. You might as well just fucking be a loser. Okay. <laughs> he already is one. So. All right. You start the game as Dave the loser. Have you heard about Dave the Loser? I'm gonna go out for the day and watch it load. Yay! So this guy is a 35-year-old otaku who lives in a motel, uh, owns a sweet motorbike, and somehow has a lightsaber that he bought on eBay. Hey, speaking of that, dude, dude, I got a lightsaber. What? Ah, yeah, see? I know a lot of gamers out there. It even makes the sound, listen to that. You just drowned me. Yeah, sorry, Travis. You're a loser, bro. I got no money. I was seriously broke. Why? Because I met this smoking hot chick last night at the Is that who I think it is? Who? Freaking Steven. Uh, probably. But she smelled good. Anywho, I decided to get a Steven Bloom. Oh, yeah. Assassinate the drifter. Yeah. So I went where I was supposed to and waited for the guy to show up. And there he was. Oh, yeah, the first. Well dressed, cool. Couldn't tell if he was. The this was like from the original trailer, right? Yeah. And yeah, so the entire fight when we take, takes place in the trailer. You didn't get to do it. Or at least <laughs> it was supposed to. Bye. Till she showed up. Her name? Sylvia Crystal. And Sylvia, Sylvia Crystal. Crystal. I'm call it association. Oh, so lame. Well, it's definitely a porn star name, isn't it? Bazooka. <laughs> yeah. As the eleventh best hitman. How about getting rid of the ten killers above you and aim for the top? Oh jeez. I want to be number one. How Wait, they show all of them here. Simple enough for you? Yeah. It's gonna be a long, hard road. Dude. But who oh no, it wasn't this game. It was the second one, right? Yeah. The camera lace just rips <laughs> off. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, this this game. Say, bro? Join me. Okay. Um. It it definitely utilized this. Yeah, the Wii Remote. A lot more effectively than something like Red Steel. Yeah, oh, it was, it's a hell of a lot of fun, but I mean, don't get me wrong, playing on PS3, even for a bit, I saved a lot of wear and tear on my wrist. <laughs> I think this is the better version. Really? Yeah, I do. Even though this one's not the HD version? Yep. Okay. Well, do you have the HD version for your PS3? I'll do. You wanna go borrow it from or just play this? Just play this. <laughs> yeah, dude, I think this is better. Yeah! Is it, here's the thing. Oh, fuck, fuck it. Yeah. Fuckhead. Oh, maybe we should turn the blood off. It's too much. Fuck you. <laughs> Yo, help me out here. There is a bit of slowdown, though. You can see it, dude? eh? Yeah. Bad answer. Oh. I remember loving this game. It's game time. Like back in back during like my first university stint, I was like, yeah. That's right. This was the first. Yeah. That's... Yeah. The one, the first. I think the one, the first thing we played when you came back from from university for the first time. Yeah. 
No, I think we're good. We're good. We're good. Just hey, figure it out. Here. Yeah. Like you hold it, you press A to actually fight. But then you, you, you do that like yeah. side and up and down. Yeah. And but you hold it up or down to like different stances. Like high oh, and low oh, stances. I, jerk off thing again? I forget, but you don't have to right now because you're already full on battery. I know. We were a little bit Because right. the light was in the middle this time, so. Like the lightsaber. Come on, man. Lightsaber. Really? Okay, that's defend. That's high, that's low. Yeah. High and lowest? Also, like, okay, a lot of this game is, is like style over substance, but it gets to the point that you can't, like, you can't make out what's going on sometimes. Like, look at that mini map. Like, it's cool, it's pixels, it's green, I get it. It's kind of ugly to the point that you can't really fucking tell what's happening. Yeah, it's something they had to approve for the, yeah. for the next game. And... Remember, like, Yahtzee said he loved this game? But if they sacrifice style over substance this much, the, the director, Suda51 would have to have his, his his head up his own asshole so so far he'd be tasting his own colon or something. Like, basically, his gripe with this game is that it was too stylistic. Yeah. And I can see that. I it's agree. A, like, it, this is, like, don't get me wrong. This is one of my favorite games on the Wii. I know it's Camera Lady's favorite game on the Wii. I'm pretty sure it's one of your favorite Wii games, too. Oh, it's up there for sure. Yeah. But like, it it shows that like, it's definitely like a tier two title. Like, like like the polish, level design, control. Compare this to something like Mario Galaxy. Yeah. And this is definitely like a lower lower it tier feels like game. A, it feels like a port almost. Yeah, almost. Even though it's like it's, it's originally for the Wii. Like, it it feels like a lower yeah. tier game, even though it's an amazing game just because of its style. I can't feel characters. like it was originally made for something like GameCube, and they just kind of upgraded it. You think so? I get that feeling. It does have like, have like a GameCube feel, doesn't it? Yeah. Like if this came out in like 2005 on the Cube instead of 2007 on the Wii, I feel like it'd be like a massive hit. Yeah, it would have been definitely an acclaimed game. Yeah. For sake. Because <laughs> I mean, so many doors. It looks like the GameCube could have even handled these graphics, you know? Yep. Because I mean, the Wii is more powerful than the GameCube, but not by much. Dude, if you, if you do your finishes to the side, it hits everybody. It don't just waggle, it just goes... <laughs> yeah, side finishes. Oh, I got like all of them. Oh, don't... Oh, God. Dude, dude. Dude. Dude, it's, it's on sweet. It's not... If this was on... Oh, 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 if this oh, is on mild, it wouldn't be so bad. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, it's just coins and blood, man. It's like so over the fucking top. Yeah, and now you don't. You oh, know, that's right. There's a. Yeah, it just like gives you combos. You can just kill people you, easily. I for, I, I, for some reason I forgot about the lock on. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Well, I wasn't using it, you know. Yeah, and this is one of those games like it feels very arcadey, you know. You're just like getting money, and you're and you're doing combos, and you're just like button mashing. Yeah. Which is fine. It's well, that's fun. exactly what Suda Fifty One wanted, though. Yeah, but it, like this game. Um, not, obviously not in graphical style, obviously not in the characters or anything like that, but in how you feel while you play it, it reminds me of, it's basically in game feel, it reminds me of, uh, Turtles in Time. <laughs> Think about it though. I get it, I like, get it. If you feel this, like when you're playing Turtles in Time, you feel the same way as when you're feeling, no more, like when you're playing No More Heroes, it's the same feeling. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just like crazy beat em up. Yeah. Absolutely. Graphically superior, yes. Um. You know, oh. I feel like the characters are better too. The, yeah. Yes, yeah, well, obviously, because they're more fleshed out. It's an, it's an original story too. Well, there's one time is, well, it is technically original, but I mean. Here's the thing, like, eventually killing like all these regular dudes in suits kind of gets old, but the game's real strength lies, like, Travis is kind of a lame character, honestly. Uh, Sylvia's kind of a lame character. All the all the people like the guy at the video store is kind of a lame character. Yeah, but the, 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 it's the assassins. Yeah, like, they, like, they, they are the, the ones with the personality. Yeah, yeah the, the the number ten guys that you're killing, they're all really like fleshed out and really cool. Yeah, and that's a, well, but but that's just it. Travis is like Where are you the going, audience? dude. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Get back downstairs or something. Like mm. get get on get on with it. Get on with it. Get on with it. Uh, Travis is basically a blank slate that the audience can project themselves on. He's no Taku. I don't think it's. I don't think it's quite much like that. Like he's not a blank slate. He has his personality. Like 
A jock would not have definitely with Travis. Yeah. Like somebody who like he's what, a, okay. What I, what I mean is he's a relatable. He's more relatable, at least to a yeah. degree. Like somebody who somebody who went along the traditional career path would not relate to Travis at all. He's a thirty-five year old fucking loser who lives in a in a dump with his anime shit. But keep like, in mind when this that's game like came you out, and I though. When this game came out, geek culture still hadn't really permeated. This is the year that Big Bang Theory came out. Yes, it hadn't permeated the, the like you know yeah. collective. The, yeah, the like, pop culture collective as, yeah. as, as much as it does now. Yeah, absolutely. Like People just, they, they still were derogatory. Like, yeah, like, okay, they're still derogatory towards, towards anime shit. Yes, that has but video games, not as much. Yeah. Video games and sci-fi and fantasy have all become mainstream. Anime has not. Anime did, it's did, getting there, though. It is getting there. There's a lot more yeah, it is. about Crunchyroll. There's yeah. more shows that are on uh, network television now that are anime-based. Mm -hmm. Their uh, conventions are getting advertised more. Yep, yep. I, meet, I meet more people, especially people younger, you know, like 8 to 10 to 12 years younger because I'm a, you know, on a university. I, yeah. I, I have no choice but to be around younger people. Mm -hmm. They they are... Oh, you, you, you yeah, I know. That, I, I know. It's there, in yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. But they, they are very open and they are um, very accepting about, about anime. No, I know what you mean. Do you ever feel like... Do you ever feel like we uh, we were born, despite how much I hate fucking millennials, do you ever feel like we were born 10 years too young or too old? Uh, I would like to think that I'm about five years... I should have been born about 1990. Yeah? Yeah. So like my sister was. Basically, yeah. But yeah, like this, this story, the No More Heroes story, Basically takes all the tropes that we came that we became accustomed to as internet losers. It's like he ordered the lightsaber off of eBay. He's 35 and ba like ba has barely moved out of his parents' house. You know he has all the anime stuff and the He's retro unemployed. games. He's <laughs> unemployed. He's unemployed. Like he is. Like Suda 51 said that he he made no more heroes to. Like, if you're gonna get deep about it, to talk about social issues regarding otakus. And otakus like, and hikikomori, yeah. Yeah. Like, the way Travis lives is basically deplorable. Yep. And At least according to the, you know, the common person. Yeah. And Especially the common Japanese person. Yeah. And and the way he is, is, like, it's it's supposed to be that kind of commentary. Um, obviously the gameplay doesn't reflect that, but like, his his life before the lightsaber basically was like of a fucking loser who had nowhere to go. Um, and the fact that oh nice you got a, you got a slots. And the fact that um he oh yeah he's super saiyan now. Also all the guys are gone. So you, oh well. I like the superpowers. They're just like just kill everybody. Sure they all work differently. They all just end up with him killing everybody no matter what. But also, they always come whenever there's no enemies. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh well, oops. So many of you, and you're all Grab dead. Grab those chests, man, before you can move on. Yeah, I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> Come up to the veranda. <laughs> Come up to the promenade. <laughs> the promenade. Oh, I think there's guys in here with me. So yes. Somebody watch me. Also, the music in this game is fucking phenomenal. Yeah, I must it, is, say. it is a very, very good soundtrack. This was this this entire soundtrack was on my iPod for like two years after this game came out. But <laughs> it was just so fucking good. Like you always say, Devin, what kind of music do you like? This. This this game soundtrack is just fucking incredible in all senses of the word. I'm just uh can I reacquaint myself with all the controls? Oh god, oh god! I didn't realize I was doing that. Oh, I killed one person. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what was that? I never even knew you could do that. Um, superpower? <laughs> so that's a thing. Yes. See, you learn something new every day. All right. Yeah, the, to take to take this and to show this to people now, and that's that's why I, I like the fact that we are playing this now. To show this to younger people now, they'll be like, well, why is that a bad thing? <laughs> like, yeah. He doesn't seem like a loser. He doesn't seem like like that big of a loser. Yeah, but like. This was made, it's like you said, this, this was made on the cusp of like the geek revolution or whatever. Yeah. So because of that, like this all seems bad, but now this has kind of become the norm of the way, the way people live. And I, like, did Suda51 kind of predict that? Like, I don't know. Um. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. The cell phone comes out of here. So hold it, hold it to the mic. Oh yeah. Or to the mic, the mic. Now, to the opponent, the holy sword. Oh, I have to be solved. 
I am the tiger? I kind of like this about this game. It's pretty cool. The Garden of Madness, of course. Oh yeah! It's always the okay, Garden yeah, of so Madness. Th th there's a lot of interactivity to this game, which is marvelous. Yeah, you gotta like, it comes out, it's supposed to be like answering a cell phone. It's still a flip phone, by the way, you noticed. Yep. But, he like, you have to like hold the Wii Remote to your ear to listen to it. Oh yeah, it's like, it's like the Cathedral's uh, washroom, right? Yeah. Sitting on my gold throne. It's a pretty nice throne, dude. It's the Iron Throne. I already knew what the Iron Throne was, dude. What, back here? Back when you played this? Yeah. I read, I read Ice and Fire when I was like 17, 18 years old. Oh, you didn't want to see over Cameron Lady's uh, save file? Nah, she'd probably kill me with a lightsaber if she could find it. <laughs> this lightsaber! <laughs> Just take it from us! Hollywood. Okay, there's still some boxes open before you go. Okay, yeah, this? That's, that's, that's where you go. That's the boss. This is the boss? Yeah. Well, look, what's this then? Maybe that's the boss. That's the boss. What is that then? Probably a minigame or something. Oh, oh no, it's a Luchador mask. That's right. You don't need to collect these? Yeah, you do. They're collectibles? That's why they're on the wall. In their apartment. Travis, do you remember those golden days in Calgary? The path of pro wrestling Calgary? Is forgotten? It, even a fragment of the spirit of a wrestler remains in your blood. Remember the first suplex that your master taught you. That's what's right, the darkness piercing. Front neck chancery drop. Who's MS? Multiple sclerosis. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, remember all the things you used to be able to do? Now you can't! Oh, fuck. Brought to you by the yeah, MS there's Society. The, there's, there's the treasures, there's the treasures. We'll open them, dude. One of these? Go, yeah, yeah. That's just health and, and battery, dude. Do you need any? No, I don't think so. Might as well get them, don't leave them to waste. Well, hit it, hit it, you fucking... There you go. Anyways. You've been batterized. Batterized. batterized Let's go you. fight this guy. Oh shit, we're over time. Oh no! Okay, let's cut it here. During the loading screen. Oh look, it's Link. Link! Link, what do you have to say for yourself? <gasps> Me too! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you!